Since we're spending so much time at home, why not cleanse the air with a salt bowl? We'll have to find out what that means. Beth Schreiben is here to tell us about health and lifestyle, right? Yeah. You're the coach. I'm the coach. That's what they say. I'm the coach. I'm a health and lifestyle coach. Just standing next to you here, we're on this potpourri, makes me feel a little better. Oh, where do you smell it? Yeah, so yeah. tell me about it. You know what? These are salt bowls. And and really, salt bowl has sort of been elevated in the last 10, 20 years as sort of a mystical, so, magical so thing. So is this something that goes way back in time or something that's just invented? This is wet potpourri. Oh. <laughs> this, is, this is essentially an old style potpourri. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons that it's so, it's so good for you in a way, I mean, salt is wonderful. All you have to do is think of Epsom salts. Yeah. You know, and get in an Epsom salt bath. I see people that have salt lamps, like a pink lamp like this on their desk. And right. They, and they, they, they bring some magic to their life or makes them feel better. What's it supposed to make well, them feel? Right there. Uh-huh. That's a, a bottle of Can Himalayan. Can I touch it? Yeah. Oh, come ah! <laughs> It's a bottle of Himalayan salt. Wow, look and at that. And I keep it by our bedside. No kidding. And it's balancing. It's balancing. It's cleansing. Um, there. So that's what it looks like. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. It's really beautiful. So is this like, what's it do? Does it put a big, a good vibe in the air? It puts or? a great vibe in the air, supposedly. I find that it does. Yeah. Um, actually, one of the things about salt that's amazing is salt is very cleansing. Mm -hmm. And all types of salt are very cleansing. I know. They cure pork with it. They cure meat with it. Mm -hmm. They do all kinds Absolutely. of crazy things with salt. Um, it really changes the ions in the air. Mm -hmm. uh, when you put salt... When you do something like this, and these are all different, this is sort of an immunity blend. Mm -hmm. Smell it. Smells great. Yeah. So what's in here, like juniper? Juniper and, and pine and allspice and oranges. Cinnamon stick. Cinnamon stick. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, smells great. Yeah. And all of these are a little different, mm -hmm. really. But when Are we, we going to make one? Yeah. Well, let's do that. Yeah. When, when you put salt in a room, it absorbs moisture mm. also, which is, is good. I, then it... I, yeah, I imagine, so if that's going to absorb moisture, the salt, that mm -hmm. means the moisture is going to be attracted to the potpourri that's dry mm -hmm. and release those, those that's smells. That's exactly what happens. So, essentially, I decided to bring some salt to scent. This is the scented salt I have here. Do you ever get so calm you fall asleep? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. Don't do it now. <laughs> I won't, I promise. Okay. Wait, what do we do? So, you can spell that one. Oh, yeah. The easiest way to start is to take a salt. It seems citrusy. It is. It's grapefruit and lemon and tangerine. How about that? And a little bit of mint to activate This big it. nose really works. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is a Himalayan salt. Okay. I've put French vanilla in it that okay. I brought back from Paris. I've scented it with some of these essential oils. And wow. what you do is you put the essential oils in and you shake it. And mm -hmm. I like to cure it first, overnight actually. Right. But this, then we're going to take this, lavender, rose, calendula, bergamot, Anise, spearmint, sacred basil, and orange. Where do you get that? Hmm? Grew it. You grew it? Yeah. Oh my, you're like that, that lady out in the woods in the, ca in the cabin, right? <laughs> That's how I like to envision myself. That's pretty good. Yeah. So this is really going to be calming. You Make know, I, I, can, I can see how this could put a scent in your home that you don't know exactly what it is, but it's just fantastic. It is. It's wonderful. Yeah. Smell that one. That's fresh basil. This is this one? Yes. Big. Oh yeah, it's really it do, it does emit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how about that? I'll take that. I thought it was a little crazy in the beginning, but I'm I'm starting to be converted. <laughs> it's wonderful, actually. Yeah. And then you just make them pretty. That's yeah. the thing I like the most. So is there a difference between the properties of the Himalayan salt versus like Hawaiian black salt mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff? Actually, yeah, the the Himalayan salt is very balancing. I have horses, mm -hmm. and we oftentimes will put Himalayan salt blocks in their stalls. Oh, no kidding. It's very, very balancing. See here. Look at that. Look at that. It's, it's pretty, too. It's a nice dish. Yeah. Thank you. What do you guys think of that, huh? Very nice. This is for February. It's for love. Redecoratingthesoul.com, right? Redecoratingthesoul.com. Yeah, you get some great ideas. Yeah, thank might, you. Might calm you down. i got to stay awake the rest of the show. I'll leave some of this salt for you. Thank you. After the break, folks, your first look at...